All right. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Half-Life 2, Episode 2 M-Mod. We are currently on the chapter called Our Mutual Friend. Or Fiend. I honestly can't remember, but it's one of those two. <laughs> We finally made it to White Forest, after all of our setbacks and obstacles and whatnot. We met up a dog again. What's up, boy? He saved her ass from a strider a few seconds ago. It was pretty sick. Um, but now we are about to meet up again with Eli and uh, Dr. Kleiner and Magnuson. So, here we go. Oh no, what's that? I don't know. All right, back to work, everyone. It's just another false alarm in the secondary silo. Same old Dr. Magnuson. <sighs> well then, I was like, all I did was break a box. <laughs> all right. Oh, hey, is that the couple again? We see them all throughout the the entire game series. Eli. Man, you made it! Hell yeah! Dad, Alex! Hmm. I was so afraid I wouldn't see you again. There, there, sweetheart. We're together now. That's all that matters. You almost didn't. And look at you, son. <laughs> I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah? We make a pretty good team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. Because, well, now that the suppression feels down, we all have to do our... Oh my dad. Can you blame an old man for wanting grandkids? <laughs> <laughs> What's what happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. Uh yeah, we had a little sure? Shouldn't we have that looked at? Really? I'm fine. Uh where's Dr. Kleiner? We should get this data to him right away. Uh, okay. Yes, yes, we should. Glad for a chance to get out of the side. I thought that he said that when I'm right here too. Magnuson have been going at it. You think they were still competing for grant money? Some things never change. Do you have any idea how long until the super portal's active? We don't know for sure. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's going to be close. All it would take is one strider to destroy our rocket. But we're ready for him. I'm sorry, we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're done. I'm just so glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back. <laughs> so this rocket's the key, huh? I see you and the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data! Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? Oh my all gosh. Right, all right. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red carpet. <laughs> grief. I only meant they might. I know, I know. Oh, never mind him. Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. <laughs> it's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Yep. Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process. And then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes. Of course. Another alarm? <laughs> what next in a parade of constant interruptions? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? 
false alarms all day. Damn crows have been nesting on the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. <laughs> Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself Whoa. careful and find out what the hell is going on in there. Uh, uh, yes. Gordon, if you don't mind, I feel better if you had a look. Catch up with us. All right, now. all right, all right. Yes, I will. I will. Yes, sir. The blast doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. I'll open this hatch to let you down. Okay. Now, once you're down there, I'll have Uriah let you into the secondary silo. Uriah. Okay. All right, I better get going before this guy loses his mind. <laughs> All right. Listen here, bud. I'm going. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Attention, personnel. This is Dr. Magnuson. Since the secondary silo staff seem incapable of solving their little pro problem. <laughs> You will be happy to hear we have put the popular Dr. Freeman on the job. We all look forward to his remedy. And I look forward to hearing the staff's excuses for why they couldn't handle it themselves. Thank you for your patience. I love that he has, he has the audacity to say his name every time he gets on the PA system. Like, dude, your voice is already irritating enough. I'm pretty sure people will be able to distinguish it as soon as they hear it. <laughs> Oh, I can't go in there. Okay. There we go. Damn, this thing's awesome looking, though. Enough. Further unauthorized use of this emergency override will be dealt with somewhere later. <laughs> Jesus, what the hell? Well, I kind of need it to get his attention. <laughs> Hey. Well met. I'm guessing you're Uriah. Freeman. The Magnuson has instructed me to admit okay, yeah. the secondary silo. Alright. The secondary silo. Another token. Alright. Thank you. Oh my gosh, another. <laughs> Dude. Concentrate with all of this racket. These feathered fiends are the most persistent I have ever. Wait, what is this? It's the combine. Either way, I've been down here for like five minutes. Jesus. If that. Hey, Nick, right through here. Thanks, it must have sent you. Yeah. Oh! Oh my gosh. Ooh, he kind of met the same demise that Alex did. Okay. Uh. Yeah, it ain't no damn crows, man. Oh my gosh. The okay, for some reason the sound didn't play when I shot there. Oh, nice explosives. Okay. Give me this. Okay. Oh, there was a wall there. Son of a bitch. Guy. Where'd that... Come here. What? There we go. Come here. There's another one up here somewhere. Where you at? Oh, there you are. Come here. There we go. 
that all of them? Easy. Alright. Okay, they're all just health. Uh, can I climb? No. Oh, can I climb this thing? No. Oh, yeah, right here. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh! You're a little closer than I thought you were. Fuck off, turret. Out of here. Like the music. Oh, I didn't knock it over. Nice. Nice. Shut up, I understand. I'm kind of in the middle of it, you know. Ow. Oh, that's a turret. Here. Have a taste of your own friend. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Here, then have a barrel. There we go. Oh, there were explosives right here. I could have just used that. Nice. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh! Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Get away from me. You blow up too, right? Oh, yeah, you do. Okay, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Jesus. I wasn't expecting him to just rush in like that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, we're going under. Oh. Would you shut the fuck up? I understand. Oh my gosh, this guy is getting so irritating. Good. Okay. We're clear. Alright. Oh shit. Nice. Oh. Oh my god, I'm gonna shoot this guy. I'm literally gonna just pop one right in this dude's mouth <laughs> as soon as I see him again. Woo! Okay. No, jump up here. There we go. Alright. Wait, hold on. Oh, they threw it back out! Alright, alright. Can I open this door? 
Oh no, they closed it. There we go. Okay. Okay, there. They're closing. I think. Yeah. Okay, a couple more jumped in, but... It's fine. Get out of here. Alright. And I will take this with me. You're fucking welcome, dipshit. <laughs> uh, I don't know, how do I get back over there? Okay. Gordon. Thank hey. goodness you're okay. Thank you. I appreciate you. I'm glad that's over. <laughs> we couldn't get in until you sealed off the silo when the blast doors opened up. Yeah, well. Incredibly true. I better let my dad know you're all right. Yep. Dad? Yes, Alice. Is everything okay? Is Gordon all right? Yes, he's fine. And thanks to him, the base is secure. Good, good. <laughs> We're about to watch the transmission from Judas. We'll head right over. All right, let's go. The Freeman must follow. Yes, sir. I'm gonna have a word with Magnuson too. <laughs> Take the freemen from here. I can return to my place of honor at the side of the Magnus. Sure thing. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Dr. Kleiner told me that Judith headed north in a helicopter right after they got here. But he wouldn't tell me why. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to say how much of it might have survived. So yeah, this is that transmission. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than... I'm gonna cut this short. We may have been spotted. Should never have let her go. There was no stopping her. Do I? Wait a moment. There's something else here. Oh. We didn't see this before. It's the Borealis. Good. God. Incredible! What? Huh? Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Hmm. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise, but in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Has Black Mesa taught you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, footprints, hmm. hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catch her, they'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. Worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson, 
It just needs a little bit longer. You wait for the combines. Go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry it along, Magnuson. Oh my gosh. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? No, I'm okay. Hmm. Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. Oh, there's the words. What did you say? Dad. Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. I kind of forgot about that. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Hmm. Gordon, keep an eye on him. Yeah. We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, babe. It's like a trigger to memory or something. Unforeseen consequences. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. Oh, so he told you too. Into the test chamber when he whispered them in my ear. He, yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. Our mutual friend. Mm-hmm. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I. I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now, now he's using my little girl, putting words in her mouth. I should have known when he rescued her, it was for his own damn reasons. Hmm. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance. Um. Here you go. Bleh. Is everything all right? There's nothing, really. All right, people, change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are... Oh. Oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you've finished, if that's more convenient. Well, Freeman, I oh. believe I found the perfect use for you. Follow me. Quick. Really? He wasn't with your crows? Huh? I'll catch up with you in a bit. Do I have to? <laughs> Alright. I guess. But yeah, there's... A lot more story with G-Man here in this chapter. It's kind of cool. Be lucky I'm even listening to you. Freeman, Striders are coming. No shit. Single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. Don't dare launch until all Striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest. This ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. What is it? Call it the Magnuson device. What? How? My chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. How original. <laughs> now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. What, you say? what it is, is a sort of sticky bomb. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull. Then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, I got well, this. Your zero-point energy yeah. field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Oh, now we have time? <laughs> I swear, this guy. Okay. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days huh. of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Whoa. Now. Okay. Out in the field... We'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find in the field. Go ahead and okay. take the device out of the... That's right. Now toss it at the main body of the Strider. Good. Now take out the firearm of your choice. There you go. Well, that seems simple enough. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Well, now, yeah. Let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah, send the target to the far end of the rails. Very well, 
Okay. Try it now. Wow, these things take a little bit to teleport, don't they? Okay, that was way too far. A bit more challenging at this range, isn't it? It's alright, I got it, I got it. I got it. There we go. Magnificent device, isn't it? I'll be right over here when you are ready to head up. Alright, alright. We're good. I just need to be able to aim. <laughs> Had enough? Yeah. Your car is fueled and ready to go. Sweet. Now every building in the valley has its own dispenser port. So you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnificence. <laughs> oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. What? You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. Huh? I, okay, I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. <laughs> Alright, well, good luck. I'm gonna go. Dr. Freeman, over here. Alright. So this, is this the finale? It might be, actually. I didn't think it was, but it might be. So, I guess this is it. Taking a few liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. Nice. I tweaked your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, Sweet. send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. Oh, I see. No Down there. Me. Okay. Now check this map. We're right here at the south end of the valley. Okay. The rest of the gangs up north by the old sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Okay. Good luck out there. Thank you, Mike. All right. Yeah, this might be it. This might be where shit gets real. So, here we go, baby. All right, thank you. All right, so I see uh, these things are all over the place. Sounds good. Perimeter's clear. Still no sign of incursion. Keep alert. Okay. Is this the sawmill? So, they've sent Freeman, have they? Good man. Hmm. <laughs> We've counted a dozen striders just north of us. A dozen? Our job is to keep oh. them from reaching the base to the south. If they get close enough for one good shot at the silo, the whole launch is a bust. And in okay. case striders aren't bad enough, recon indicates they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Oh, nice. Now, what I want you to do... Attention. I heard one. I hear one. North perimeter breach. <laughs> All right, people. Okay, so there's the red dot. Oh, I see him. Okay. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Well, will the hunters... Hold up. I need to test something here. Remember, keep him distracted while Freeman takes him down. Oh, okay, they can. So that I got to take care of the hunters first. All right, let's see if this will work. Don't step on me. Grab the lock. Okay, it won't grab the lock. Give me this. Oh, nice. Okay, that actually works really well. Alright. Oh. Woo! Oh, that was beautiful. That's here. Where? There he is. A miracle to get us out of this. Woo! Okay, he's pissed. He's pissed. Oh, there's hunters. Okay. 
Alright, bitch, come here. Nice, okay. That actually works really well. Alright, I gotta look for those logs whenever they're around. Ouch! Oh, he destroyed the thing! Shit! Oh no, there it is. Nice! Oh, that's fucking sick. Okay, I gotta go get another device. Hang on. Keep an eye out! Looks like hunters are traveling with the striders. They're working in packs! Yep. It's fine, though. No. Wait, is there one in here? Yeah, there is. There we go. Now we have a strider coming in from the water tower! Where's the, where's the water tower? Okay, it's over this way. Oh, I see it. Okay, this is the water tower. Got it. Alright. Nice. Come here, bitch. Nice. Oh, that is so cool. Alright, I gotta get another thingy. Get in the car. Another Magnuson device. Okay. Cranes, that's over here, right? Yep. I think that's right here. Yeah. There he is. Kill the hunters first. Come here. There we go. That's actually really nice of him not to shoot me. Oh, never mind. <laughs> now he is. Ouch. Bitch. <laughs> Alright, let's go get another. Keep up the good work. Only a few striders left. A few. You said there were like a dozen, right? I know that that's not the end. This is gonna get crazy. I just know it. I'm gonna save real quick. Okay. I'll just drive over there. Oh wow, there's three of you. Did he say there was another one? I think that's what I heard. Oh, there he goes. Oh my god, he almost stepped on me. Okay. Oh, there was another one. Okay. Alright. I see him. Can you just go grab a... Oh, shit. Alright, they're starting to... Starting to pack it up a little bit. Alright. Just put that there. Alright. So take care of this one first. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. And now let's go take care of this one. That one didn't have any hunters with it, thank God. 
Alright. Let's go take care of this boy. Bitch, you ain't going nowhere. Nice. All right. So I think you destroyed this. So I gotta go get a Magnuson somewhere else now. Yep. All right. Now it's personal. <laughs> now you piss me off. Nice. I'ma just uh, save again. Cause why not? Okay, cool. Alright, it's quiet so far. I have a feeling, like I said, there's no way it's gonna just be this easy. It's gonna get fucking crazy. I just know it. This is the calming before the storm. Bitch is that Oh yeah, here we Another go. Strider from the water tower. I'm on it. Can I run over the hunters? Oh my gosh, I can. Okay, this one's moving a little quick though. Holy shit. Kill the hunter. Okay. He destroyed that magnificent device. I'll just I'll just drive. Come here, bitch. Alright. Nice. Okay, so they're destroying some of the Magasin devices as well. So that's what's also starting to worry me, is they're destroying these things. You just jinxed it. Yep, yep. Do you see what you did? We spotted drop ships carrying even more striders. We have right. about a minute before they hit, so gear up. This is gonna get ugly before it's over. <laughs> yeah, I fucking knew it. All right, we're saving. I hear the freaking shit. Oh, there they are. All right. So this one there, that one there, and there's one over there, right? Yeah, there's literally only three left. All right. Well. Time to take care of business, Gordon. Let's do it. We have a strider coming in from the crate. Take care of them as quickly as possible. Oh yeah. Now there's one at the sawmill. Oh yeah, music's kicking up, baby. Bitch. Okay. Let me just get my device here. Where'd the starter go? Oh, 
shit, I lost the Strider. Oh, there he is. Alright, there's one. Now we gotta go all the way back and get another device. All ass, Gordon. All right. So at the sawmill and water tower. Heads up, people. We are not done yet. Another strider was just spotted at the sawmill. One more at the crane. Okay, looks like they're all over here. Nice. Okay, I think the other one's already passed here, so we gotta be quick. Oh yeah, they did. Fuck, I tried to run over the damn hunter. Oh shit. Not on my watch. Beautiful. Okay. That's nice, that thing will like go off when one gets too close. Just to warn ya. Alright, there is one coming up this way, yep. Oh, they broke it. I tried to get it before they get got to it. I missed. Come here! Okay. There we go. Give me the thing. Get out of here. Okay. One more right there. Where's my car? Oh, it's right there. Oh, damn it. I was just trying to put it on my car, you dipshits. Fuck. Oh my gosh, just kill this damn hunter. Ow! Bitch. Okay. Gimme. Die! Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go! Holy shit, alright. Attention, attention! The Striders have been defeated! All personnel return to base immediately! Repeat! All personnel return to base immediately! Alright. Nice. They did get a little close. I was actually kind of worried there for a second. I don't know how close, you know, what, you know for when it was too late. Um, because they can shoot that, like, big old plasma beam from far away, so I don't know how much closer they could have gotten, but... It's fine. Good shit, boys. <laughs> Let's go, baby. You got it, boys. Hey, Alex. You were amazing out there. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> this final 
stages. The portal's close to open, but Dr. Magnuson sure will be in time to stop it. Okay, cool. T minus one. So yeah, this is the last chap like chapter in the game, I think, but we'll do it. Ah, Freeman. Yes. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. Yeah, who operated it? I feel compelled. Me. Thank you. Personally. Thank you. For saving my rocket. So, um, thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit chat. I've got a rocket to launch. That was better. Wow. For a minute there, I thought that you were going to get a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the launch from there. All right. But yes, um, we'll do this because this is the ending, so. Well, here we are again. <laughs> While you were out having fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. I've got it all packed up cool. and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? <laughs> I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. Well, that's what they're talking We're back. At last. Ah, Gordon. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Thanks, Eli. Let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those strikers practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I, I swear to God. Gordon had Thank you. With their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society. Boy. Our rocket. Swear. I believe we're ready to start the autopsy. <laughs> I believe Gordon should have the honor. You'll hear no objection from me. Ooh, do I get to push a button? It's all yours, Gordon. Hell yeah. Boop. Nice. Stations, everyone. Forward, main thrusters. I get a perfect shot at this right here. Steady on. A minus ten. Nine, We're launching. Eight, seven, six, five, steady. Four, three, two, three. Nice. Now it is still too early to celebrate. We need to reach altitude and transmit the signal. Too right. The clock is ticking. We couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like uh, a sure thing. view of the fireworks. <laughs> there should be quite a show. <laughs> Regrettably, I can't come up with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a close eye on the rocket's projector. Aren't you going to see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up. I wouldn't dream of letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, <laughs> I'll hold you to that. You too, Dr. Magnuson. Indeed. Yes. As, as annoying and stubborn you are, you too. We'll catch up with you in a moment, Skidder. Gordon, hold up. Dog, there you are. The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Don't hmm. be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it, whatever the cost. Where are you two? You're going to miss it. Be Hang right on. There, Alex. Hang on. Gordon, thanks for everything you've done for Alex, for all of us. Of course. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Hmm. Now, when you get back, we've got a lot to talk about. I would be honored. Wow. We've activated the resonator. I see the rocket. This is it. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Yes. It's gone. Sure yeah, baby. And not a moment too soon. Let's fire off some celebratory shots. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> plenty to celebrate. Hell yeah. I wish you didn't have to head off so soon. 
<laughs> only it weren't so pretty. It's okay, Dad. We'll find Judith and bring her back. Dog? Hey, where are you? What a nut. <laughs> don't go too far. Maybe he's just excited, I don't know. But I think this is the spot where that cliffhanger happens. Gassed up and ready to go. Remember to keep in constant contact. We have no idea what to expect. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. We'll be all right. I just wish all this didn't have to fall on you, Alex. Your mother would be so proud. Dad. <laughs> Frequency open on the chopper radio in case Judith tries to reach us again. Good idea. She could well make another attempt. <laughs> Dad, Gordon, help! Oh, uh, yep. Here we go. This is it. Dad. The fucking advisors. Dad. Oh. Get away. Listen to it. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, you ugly bitch. Close your eyes, honey. I love you, Dad. No. Oh my god. No. Damn. Gordon. Doggo. Beat his ass. Both of them. Dad! How could... Dad! Dad! Dad, please! Dad! Oh my god! No! 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 Oh my god! And there it is! There's that moment that happened, what, 14 years ago? Yep, that's what, that was the infamous one right there. <laughs> but man. I'll just pause the credits right there. What a game. I mean, and by, by game, I mean all three. So Half-Life 2, and then Episode 1, and Episode 2. By itself, before we talk about M mod here, and all the other mods, um, Half-Life 2, in general, is just one of the best first-person shooters I have ever played in my life. Like, when it, when it first came out, obviously I was very young, so I'd never played games during that time at least these kinds of games. Um, but when I very first did uh, with the first two, I was blown away. Absolutely blown away. And then when I realized um, how games and stuff are designed and all that stuff and production of these kinds of things, it just amazed me even more to think that something like this came out in 2004, 2006, and 2007. Um, and has this much detail, this much character development, this much story. It's just, it's incredible. Absolutely amazing. And I've, I've said this before and I'll say it again. This started what many later FPS games um, took from. They, they, they adapted many things that this game started. And it's, it's, it's revolutionary. It's very, very awesome. So yeah, hell of a game. Hell of a game. I absolutely love it. 
Um, and then, of course, we bring in all the mods. So M mod, M mod is like the main, the the big one here, the one that changes most of the the things here. Some of the UI features, and then also all of the visual effects in terms of like explosions and particle effects and all this and that, uh, color correction, and then of course all the weapons and things like that. Um, amazing work. Absolutely astonishing work. Uh, Gunship, I know there's a couple other creators that were like helping him do this too, so if I don't, I, I don't remember your names, I'm so sorry, but all credit goes to you guys for M-Mod. Absolutely fantastic work. I, I still saw on the page that they are working on a V2, so this is M-Mod 1.3. They've already done like three patches to it, um, and they're still working on a V2. So I probably won't do a recording of that since I did this, but in my spare time, whenever that comes out, I'll still check it out, because um, it's just more weapon updates and other bug fixes and patches and things like that. So looking forward to that, but for right now, absolutely amazing work, guys. I'm so happy and so thankful that you took the time just out of your day you know this wasn't just bit there wasn't business none of that you guys just wanted to see it and you wanted to do it and i i really appreciate that so thank you guys for that and also thank you all of you other uh guys out there that made the other mods so like the imported models from half-life alex the barnacles the head crabs um and then thanks to, I believe his name is Ltux, I think, I, I, I think, I'm pretty sure that's what his name is, um, and other people that either helped him or just were a part of that in some way for doing the uh, 4K textures pack, so that included like the blood, the some of the environmental textures, uh, things like that. Just. A whole bunch of different textures um, that were improved or um, even new for that matter so thank you guys for that um, what else oh the uh, uh, enhanced textures for the weapons um, and some other things uh, Unis I hope I didn't butcher that um, he did a lot of those enhanced textures on the weapons um, the color change on the gravity gun, instead of it being orange, it was blue. I believe he also did that. Um, I currently don't remember who did the HUD color change. I don't think it was Unia's, but I, I can't remember. But thank you for that as well. It was just a fun little change, uh, to change it to blue instead of the original yellow. Um... I think that's all of them. Yeah, so please forgive me if I forgot something else. Um, but yeah, all credit goes to you guys. You guys are all absolutely amazing. I heavily appreciate all of your hard work. And uh, yeah, so I'm very happy to relive the Half-Life experience with everything new here. So with that all being said, guys, I appreciate all of you who support me and have watched the series and maybe even left a like or anything like that it's I don't ask for any of that but if you do I appreciate it that's awesome of you guys thank you so much um, but yeah so this has been Half-Life 2 Half-Life 2 episode 1 and episode 2 M mod edition you may as well just call them ultimate edition or something because there's a lot more than just M mod in the last few games but I'm going to call that off here. So thank you guys once again for watching these series. And I will catch all of you in the next one.